M0FXB, welcome to my review of the AV201 SWR and power meter. So looking at the front with AV201, there's a meter adjust here. It's up to one kilowatts, and then we've got three settings, five kilowatt, 20 kilowatt, and 200 kilowatt. And it looks like the meter you know, lines here follow that regarding power. SWR's at the top there, and we have a selection here where you can choose to measure the power swr or calibrate the device and then you have reflector forward and off and here's your calibration dial here you've got a push button here for reading the average swr or the pp the peak envelope power so I've not really used that before, but I've got a feeling that's when you're talking on S when you're talking, you know, on SSB, and it's going to read what your SWR is when you're at that peak, as the needle goes up and down. So it's worth having a look at that. And we've got the reflector and forward and off. Let's have a quick read on that. SWR meters have a switch on them, usually labelled up forward and REF. In the forward position, the meter indicates the forward power traveling on the antenna cable. This is the power going from the transmitter to the antenna. In the RAF position, the meter indicates the reflective power traveling on the meter cable. Sorry, I meant traveling on the cable. Antenna cable. This is the power that has not been absorbed by the antenna returning back to the transmitter. To make an SWR reading, the transmitter is switched to on. The meter is set to forward position and the CAL control is turned to make the meter needle point to 100%. The SWR meter is then set to the REF position. The reading shown on the meter is the amount of reflected power relative to the forward power. Then we've got a figure that says 1.8 megahertz and 1.160 megahertz. So it covers 1.8 megahertz to 160 megahertz. So that does cover you HF, six meters, two meters and 70 centimeters. So let's let's turn this thing around. Now, I'll just say the build quality, um, I think is, uh, is good. I mean, you can get these brand new for I think it's £65, maybe a fiver delivery. Now, obviously, I got it second hand, as you just saw. The nice thing is it's just got one antenna connection. So TX to your radio, antenna goes here. It says HF, but it is, as, as we said. There's a big button here for one kilowatt and 200 watts. That's pretty good, isn't it? And you've got a DC power there, which we'll, we will um, we'll leave it out for 200 watts. And we'll just plug a cable in there so you can see the light. So overall, I would I think it's a, for the price. I think sixty five pound brand new. I think personally, it's a good meter. So we've got the power in, and let's just show you that that there you are, just twelve volt. I'm sure that there'll be a power cable included in a brand new one. There wasn't in this one. So let's um, let's connect it to. I think what we're going to do is connect it to my Zygu first X six one hundred because that's quite a new radio app. Be interesting to see. I do have a dummy load here. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it. So let's move it over and let's get the Zygu out. I'm going to leave this recording because I want you to see how portable the Zygu is. So. There's my Zygu, like so. Now I know a lot of people have moaned about the Zygu because there's been bugs with the Wi-Fi Bluetooth and there's other bugs to do with transmit power and CW and different um, sort of, uh, noise reduction items. But overall it works great as a six meter HF radio with a built-in ATU. So I think it's good, but yeah, come on Zygu, sort it out. Okay, we've got things connected. Let's just show you. So, on the it's going to clear here on the TX here. 
to go into the radio, the Zygu, with a little adapter. The antenna, which on HF, we're using a G5RV, is going here. Right, let's turn it on. We're only going to do some brief tests. So Zygu takes, you have to hold your finger for a couple of seconds for it to boot up. Should be quite busy on there at the moment. Get on to, let's go to 40 meters. There you go. It's a real fun radio to use. And it's got a built-in ATU, which we will turn off. Um, great fun little portable set. So let's have a look at our meter here. Now, I've never actually used one of these, so let's learn the hard way. So to get the power down to, on the Zygu, we can turn the power down to 0 0.1 of a watt for now. Um, there's your averaging and and PEP. I think for, we'll try PEP because we are going to test on S on SSB. Now, yeah, it's literally about two watts, so we'll put it on five. Now, will it even register? We want it to test the SWR because we're going to flick that down to SWR. Actually, you might have to calibrate it first. So calibrate. Just notice that when you do, when you flick this REF and forward, look, if you go to off, you can actually turn the light off. Quite good, isn't it? So let's calibrate it. We've got it down to five watts here. We've flicked it to calibrate. We've got it on forward, and then we just key up and see that. Now we've got the knob here, and we turn it until the end. There you go. Flick it back to forward. Flick it up down to SWR, and then we're showing, which similar to what the radio shows, 1.7 is it? 1.7, and we we'll just flick it to power as well, and it's showing, yeah, it's just just a few, hardly anything. It's right, the battery is very low. Yeah, not even one watt. So we're looking at the radio, let's get it onto SSB. Like so, I'll turn the power to 10 watts. Whether it's going to give that is another matter. Um, and let's give a CQ call. Mike Zero Fox X Ray Bravo. Mike Zero Fox X Ray Bravo. CQ CQ. Mike Zero Fox X Ray Bravo. Calling for a contact. And you can see the needle going up and down there. You can see the SWR. Now if we flick it to power. Mike Zero Fox X Ray Bravo. Mike Zero Fox X Ray Bravo. Mike Zero Fox. So yeah, not a lot of power coming out there. We'll flick it to forward. Mike Zero Fox X Ray Bravo. Mike Zero Fox Trot X Ray Bravo. Then we can we're on PEP. Let's, no, we're, we were on average. Now we push the button. We're on PEP. So Mike Zero Fox X Ray Bravo. Mike Zero Fox X Ray Bravo. Test M Zero FXB. So that's it, really. Um, it's the budget SWR meter, um, and um, yeah, it seems to do the job fine. So we'll just quickly put my handheld on there on the V8 on the VHF UHF side, and that'll be the end of this um, video. So I'll just show you show you me disconnecting this to show you how portable it is. So hold down, off, just whip the microphone out. BNC, pull the power, and don't forget the, the Zygu has a battery, so you don't actually need it. It even has a PTT, 
which is here, and a microphone, which is built in a small hole there. So it's a fun device. But it's not an ICOM 705. Anyway, let's move that out of the way. Let's put the FT5 here. It's got an adapter on it. Let's see if we get anything. It's, it's quite a low power device, but we'll try it. Let's turn it on. Let's go on to VFO mode, go to single mode, hold down AB, then we'll go to VFO, go up a band, let's give a call out on 500, um, I think we're all set up, 5 watts, get it down to 5 watts, should we try the calibrate first? Calibrate. M0 FXB test. M0 FXB test. Anyone receiving me? So we've calibrated with the knob here. Then we're going to flick it down to SWR. Mike 0 Fox X3 Bravo test. So we're not even registering at the moment. Um, let's just see if I'm on 5 watts a minute. So you go F menu, TX power, high. So we are on 5 watts. Um, I don't think we're even moving the needle. So let's put it back to averaging. SWR. Let's try again and that'll be it. Nope, not even moving the needle. <laughs> uh... Let me just double check that I've got it all connected correctly. Um, let me think now. Did I put the G5? Did I swap the antenna to the VHF antenna? Probably not. All right, let's quickly swap. Right, we swapped antennas. And remember, this is my diary. It's not the perfect broadcast videos. It's me at home playing radio. Uh, so if I make a mistake, I show it. Um, right, okay. So let's key up again. Two meter seventy antenna. Right, it's actually moving now. <laughs> That's refreshing. So everything looks fine. Let's go 70 centimetres. Let's move away from that frequency. Uh, let's check the power. I mean, these are lovely radios, these. You know, if you've got, if you really want a digital radio, I recommend this because it's very well priced. But anyway... M0 FXB, Mike 0 Fox X-Ray Bravo. There you are. And that worked fine, didn't it? Let's flick it to power, see what it does. Mike 0 Fox X-Ray Bravo. There you go. Quite happy with that. So, yeah, check out the Avair. I know Moonraker really pushed these meters. I think um, it's it's for what, you, for what they cost. I think overall, I think it's good. So... Um, um, please uh, like and subscribe to my channel and catch you on air sometime, 7-3. I'll just quickly show you a new toy before I go. And that is this new little ATU 100 tuner. Now it's a budget sort of Chinese one. It was £65 delivered and I've tested it and it actually works. Uh, you can turn it on like so. It has a battery inside which is very handy because, I mean, I actually got it for my 705, but I've been told that the one I should have gone for is the ATU-10 because that kicks in at a lower, you know, lower power. But apparently there's something I can do to this to, to make it, or I could just send this one back and go for the ATU-10, which I haven't decided yet. But I have tested this, and it works It works okay, I think. worked better on my higher-powered radio, you know, than my QRP radio. So... 7-3, catch you on air, all the best.